What a crowd, what a crowd. Now I tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? And last week I found the guy's wallet. Inside was a picture of my two kids. And I tell you, my kids ain't no bargain either, you know? The other day I told my kid about the birds and the bees. He went out, he knocked up a sparrow. I mean, when I was a kid, it was different, I had it rough. When I was two years old, my parents got a dog, and I was jealous of the dog. So they got rid of me. I mean, that's the story of my life. No respect. I don't got no respect at all. No respect at all. Are you kidding? No respect at all. Uh, the other day, I called up my wife. She told me she had a new position. I ran home. The position was already filled. I'll tell you, though, when I have sex with my wife, I always have a mirror in the room. <laughs> yeah, I put it under her nose, see if she's breathing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move it along now, okay? Here's a funny guy, comes from Detroit. <laughs> Detroit's a great place. If you need plugs and points. <laughs> but he comes from a family of nine. I guess his mother didn't feel eight was enough. You know. <laughs> all right, give it up now for Tim Allen, okay? Here we go. All right, Tim, here we go, baby. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Very nice to be here. I just got home, seen all my brothers. Seven of them, two sisters. What a bunch of pigs. Right? Men are pigs, right, ladies? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, just too bad we own everything. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. My mom always called us pigs, boy. Seven boys, you little pigs. You little red-butted monkey little pigs. All you do is shit and eat, that's all you do. She said, don't even bother speaking, just grunt like the pigs you are. She said, all men need are three things. <laughs> you don't think the old man grunts? Give him a steak, honey. You like that? <laughs> you want the butter or the salt? <laughs> she told us the only reason men are alive is for lawn care and vehicle maintenance. <laughs> it's true. I got a lawn tractor. I got a big John Deere 160. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 11 horse, twin cylinder, hydrostatic drive, yeah. 42 inch blade, rear bagger, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. It's got headlights in case I want to mow the fucker at night for some reason, I don't know why they're on there. They deliver it and all my neighbors are like flies on manure. I got eight grown men standing around. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I understood them and that bothered me. My mother said men aren't men until they can find the way to Sears. Because I love Sears. Oh, oh yeah. That craftsman tool department. <laughs> I walk in there and my nipples get rock hard. <laughs> I can buy stuff I don't need now, so I bought a gear puller. I have no goddamn idea what that thing is. But it looks good on my pegboard. That's all I care about. <laughs> That's all men care about is a full pegboard of shit you'll never use. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get in the most trouble of getting home with... Watch that home shopping club. Well, that got tools from hell coming on there, tools from hell. The guy came on and said, eliminate the worry of sharpening scissors at home. Oh. <laughs> Forget about Ethiopia for a minute. Here's a major goddamn problem. Well, I ordered the Ren 2000 power home sharpener. Six to eight weeks later, it shows up, UPS. Oh. <laughs> we smell each other's butts, he comes on in. Yeah, it's the best way to know a man. My dog taught me that. I never know up in those boxes. What do you do with all that styrofoam, that packing, that popcorn? I save it. Yeah. Oh, oh. I bring it out late fourth quarter football games. No one knows what they're eating anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I got tools that fix tools. I bring goddamn tool that mix. And plenty of duct tape. You've got to have duct tape. If you can't fix it, duck it. That's what I do. That's some assembly required to hurt you. 
My mom gave me a grill this year, a gas grill, my birthday, a Sunbeam 1620. You've seen a double burner? Oh, 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 yeah. It looked like a car bomb in that box. Oh. Well, I built it, but I still had a big bag of real important looking shit left over. <laughs> Gotta think safety first. Honey, why don't you try the grill out first? <laughs> you should have seen the flame fly off of that thing. <laughs> Honey, stop running around. You're making the flames grow on your head there. You know, this must be a fuel regulator of some sort. I don't think they're supposed to spray in the hair like that. Guess I don't need to tell you about that, though, do I, hon? You come on in. I got some salve. That'll all grow back. Give it some time. She's always pissed. But she buys me things I love. She loves me. She got me that big cowhide tool belt. Ever had... Oh, ah, ah, ah. Two cordless drills hanging low. <laughs> Workmen always wear them around your house, make their butt crack show. Ever seen that? Hey, Pete, get that butt crack out of here. I got kids eating food in this house. Now get that butt crack out of here. I got that. I'm like a modern day gunslinger walking around and cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Come on, bitch, break some. <laughs> She's always pissed. She's always mad. You breathe, you make a woman mad. I just come out of that shop shore or something. Uh, 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 uh. Did you walk on that floor? Uh -huh. That woman saw me walk on that goddamn floor. She just gave me a chance to lie to her. Women like to do that. Don't look at me like, did you walk on the goddamn floor? Oh. Uh -huh. Just a, a little bit over there, maybe. I just cleaned the floor. Look at it. Oh, yeah. You clean that floor for what? Pull out that hose. This ain't so tough, goddammit. <laughs> you go you make the house dirty oh yeah that's how i mark territory ah, 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 ah. better than peeing on the couch you're home during the day why don't you clean the house for what ah. there's some jobs you got to do better because you do them like a man dustin i hate dustin you pull out that bric-a-brac Got a better way to dust. You just duct tape the small shit down. <laughs> Fire up that leaf blower. <laughs> but stay out of that laundry room if you don't know what you're doing. I made about three grand worth of Barbie clothes in one weekend. Did you do the laundry like I asked? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I got it all to fit in this little cup, too. Look at that. Look how clean the comforter came out. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. The one thing, men. Uh, uh, uh. One thing I love about men is morning boners. I can't take those things. What is it with that, that little boner that's up a little before you, huh? Six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. <sighs> what the hell's that all about? Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. What are you gonna do? My dad, he always called it morning stiffness, boys. Big old hooter on him, walked by with a towel on it. Shower time. Always wanted to pee with the boys. Oh, no way. Come on, boys, sally up and pee with dad. No. As you're a little kid, you got a little mushroom cap. Dad unrolls this dick of death. You guys have been a lot of fun. My name's Tim Allen. Thank you all very much. Well, here I am at the pool of the Tropicana Hotel. What a place. It's like an island in Las Vegas, you know? When I tell you, you can't beat the scenery. <laughs> I love to sit out here at the pool, you know, meet all my fans. I love them. They love me. It's beautiful, you know? Hey, folks, how you doing? Where you from, huh? Hey, girls, I'll buy you a drink, huh? Hey, boys, sit down. I'll buy you a drink, huh? What do you say, huh? Look, why don't you stop bothering people? <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield, you are so funny. You're the best. Really? Well, sit down, honey. <laughs> Give the chair a break, okay? <laughs> You're real cute, you know. Hey, maybe later on you and I can have a few drinks and, uh... Make a little whoopee, huh? Rodney, I'm married. In fact, 
And a picture of my husband right here. Isn't he cute? <laughs> yeah, he's cute, all right. Well, I'll tell you what, honey, in life, anything can happen, you know? I mean, if you ever break up, well, uh, tell him to call me. <laughs> I called you, it was him. Ronnie Dangerfield. Boy, Ronnie Dangerfield. Ronnie, how are you? Okay, fine, fine. How you doing, boys? Rodney, in the movie Back to School, you had this dive called the Triple Lindy. Tell me, Rodney, did you really do that dive? I did it, boys. I did that dive. <laughs> Look at you, lying to these children. You didn't do that dive. I'm not lying. I did the dive. Well, if you did it before, you can do it again. If you did that dive, then do it now. I don't want to do it now. You mean you can't do it now because you're a phony. I'm not a phony. Sure you're not a phony, Rodney. Do the dive. I don't want to do the dive now. Well, she's right, Rodney. You are a phony. You're, you're a, a phony. phony. You're a phony. You're a phony. You're a phony. You're a phony. I'm not a phony. I'll do the dive. See? He's going to do the dive. Don't bet on it. <laughs> you see, Mommy's going to do the dive. Wow, he's going to do it. When I grow up, I want to be just like Rodney. <laughs> Boy, he really knows his stuff. 